Father, we thank you for this day, Lord, and I ask that you speak through me again in this video, Jesus, that you guide me, that you guide the words of my mouth, that you speak through me, Lord, that your holy message and your blessings be upon this video and all who watch this video, Lord. I thank you and I pray in Jesus' holy, heavenly, mighty name. Amen. All right, y'all. So I wanted to come real quick one more time um, because I just finished from my last video and come film this video real quick. Um, because I felt like, again, the Lord has been putting this message on my heart for a couple of days and I haven't gotten a chance to actually sit down and make a video about this. Um, so I really wanted to make this video. Um, so to start out, um, about two weeks ago, right around there, maybe a week ago, I had a really strong, um, encounter with the Holy Spirit and I really felt like I was... I have been baptized in the Holy Spirit and that it, it was a lot way different than the encounters that I've had before. Um, and in this encounter, I really have begun to understand and feel and recognize that really what it means to be married to Christ and what it means to get married to Jesus and be married to Jesus and allow Jesus to be your first marriage. Um, and I know for women, this is kind of an easier pill to swallow than it may be for men, but just hear me out. Um, a lot of us in our lives make decisions that we don't really, um, you know, we might make them for this reason or that reason, whatever. But when we really get down to the nitty gritty, in 10 years, a lot of those reasons may not matter even though that decision and the effects of those decisions still do matter. So when I'm getting into this, really what I want to hone in on this, I'm going to try and make this a pretty short video. The Holy Spirit is calling you. The Holy Spirit is calling you to come to him. The Lord is calling you to enter into a marriage with him. Not just calling you to have a, a second with him or have a moment with him, but he is calling you to have a marriage with him. He is calling you to live a life in which you are married to him. And when you think about what that marriage word means and we look at it, at, at what it truthfully should be. A lot of us may struggle with that because, again, like I said in my last video, we may not have healthy uh, relationships with our parents. So because of that, we may not necessarily have healthy relationships with our spouses. And therefore, because these are our two what we consider earthly connections of love. We have a difficulty, you know, these are down here. So how do we look at our relationship with God as, as what it should be, which is way up here? How do we look at him as being able to love us up here? Completely different than what everybody else in our life has done. And it starts with becoming married to him and becoming the bride of Christ. We as the church are the bride of Christ. And when you really, really accept that, not just as a term, not just as a word, but when you accept the meaning of that into your heart, it becomes a completely different ball game of a walk with the Lord. And it, it, you begin to really recognize and understand that I'm being called to live a life that honors the Lord. And all that I do needs to honor him. Now, we can't control what other people around us do or how they react to things or anything like that. But what we can control is how we react and how we respond to what people do. And responding in the Holy Spirit is the key, key thing here. Um, and, and I want to kind of get a little bit deeper into this, particularly for people who are battling right now within their own marriages. Um, number one, the first thing that I really want to say is not just you put God first, but your spouse needs to put God first as well. Now, this is my second thing, and this is going to sound a little, woo, you both need to have a personal relationship with God. Not just you, but your spouse. Okay, and this is going to get a little bit deeper because this is where your faith comes into play. If this person is not loving the Lord in the Holy Spirit, when your marriage is bound on the foundation of Christ, you are not married. And we need to get, you know, like really analyze what I just said. That doesn't mean go cheat. That doesn't mean go do this, that, and the other. You still are married 
But in terms of being biblically married, you are not bound to that spouse the way you should be in the Holy Spirit. So this is where we all as Christians, not as the spouse who may not be Christian or the boyfriend who may whatever. If you you got a boyfriend or girlfriend who ain't Christian or at least don't have somewhat of the, the same religious values as you get out of it. And yeah, that's another story. For you as the Christian, for you as, as the spouse who is on point or or is is more in tune with the Lord right now because such and such is doing whatever. We need to remember that we are the ones who are going to be attacked the most. Yes, these are our spouse is definitely going through trial and tribulation, but part of that trial and tribulation has to do with you. Part of that is the enemy using your other half to get to you. So before we're quick to throw out the divorce word in the the um you know the breakup and in, in the break or the whatever, analyze what is going on in your marriage right now that is affecting your spirituality. And if it's everything, or if it's more than 50%, go back, go back and become married to Christ again. And I know that sounds crazy because a lot of us will think, you know, we're walking in, but ultimately, like I said in my last video, what other people do to you will affect you less, a lot less, when you recognize what the Lord's purpose is for all of that. And when you recognize that it starts with you because you're the believer. And this is really, and this is something where I feel like the Lord is just, you are the believer. Okay. Whether your spouse is a Christian and, and, and they're walking with God or they're not particularly, this is more so for people who have a spouse who may be Christian and is, is just not in the same place as you are, or for people who have a spouse who is not necessarily, um, acting as though they're baptized in the Holy Spirit. Allow the Lord to work on you because you are ultimately the connection in your household to him. And he will work through you. But remember, the devil will take every opportunity to use your better half to distract you if he can. This is where going back to your marriage with Christ comes into play because Christ will reunite you with that spouse. And again, y'all might be living in the same house right now. Ain't, ain't no talks or break up, nothing like that. And this is just, but I'm saying from a spiritual perspective, if you're not bound in the Holy Spirit, you are not married. You need to be bound in the Holy Spirit. Being bound in the Holy Spirit simply means that we are both shining with a heart for God. And it takes time, it takes effort, and it's not always easy. Yep. Oh, well, I'll finish this video later. Love y'all. <laughs> I'm making a video. <laughs>